Hey guys, Rohan is exhausted today. He has just returned from his friend's place. His friend has recently moved in and Rohan was helping her shift and setting up her home. While they were shifting her things, Rohan came across a very heavy box which had to be moved. Well, he tried his level best to move the box alone, but it was very heavy. So he asked his friend to help him push it. What do you think must have happened? Do you think it was easier to push the box alone or with the help of his friend? Well, you're right. Rohan could push the box easily when his friend was there to help him. This happened because of the push or the force applied by Rohan and his friend added up. They were in the same direction from left to right. That is why the total force acting on the box increased because of the addition and this made it easier to push the box. What would happen if Rohan's friend tried pushing the box from the opposite side? Would it still be easy to move the box? No, it would become difficult to move the box in this case. It is possible that the box would not move at all. But how is this possible that even though two people are applying force on the box, it doesn't move at all? Where do the forces applied by both of them go? This happens because the force applied by him and his friend cancel out each other since they are in opposite directions. Well, the same thing happens in a game of tug of war too. When the rope is pulled from both the sides with equal forces, they cancel each other out and the rope does not move at all. Will all forces acting in opposite directions always cancel out each other? No, only equal forces acting in opposite directions cancel each other out. That means if you and your friend both apply a force of magnitude 5 Newton from the opposite side of the box, they will cancel each other and the box will not move at all. When forces of equal magnitude cancel out each other, resulting in no work being done, we say that they get balanced. If instead of his friend, a very young kid is trying to push the box from the opposite side, but Rohan's force will be greater and hence the box will move. Here, the forces will not be balanced and the total force acting on the box would be the subtraction of the forces applied by both Rohan and the kid. Again, this is like a situation in the game of tug of war. If the rope is pulled with a force greater on one side than the other, the rope moves towards the greater force. Thus, when forces act in the same direction, they add up, whereas when they act in opposite directions, the total force is obtained by subtracting them. Well, that's all for this video. Now, next time, Rohan will remember that if he wants to move something heavy, he will always tell his friend to apply force in the same direction as you to avoid the forces to subtract or balance each other. See you next time.